It's our story. Eleanor Smith, Atlanta, Georgia. In terms of sexuality, I'm sure disabled people are as different from each other as non-disabled people. So I, I'll just speak for myself. Um, I did not discover myself as a sexual person until I was in my 20s. And that's, that's kind of late. I didn't know that my body could ha be sexual and have a great time being sexual. My personal body. I'm not talking about relationships. I'm just talking about myself as a body. I didn't really um, experience being incredibly turned on and having a great sexual time until I was in my 30s, in fact. And then someone um, pressed the right buttons and it was off to the races for, for the next decades. But I think the reason that I discovered that, part of the reason I discovered that so late, I found love earlier, believe me, but I didn't find sex, my own sexuality. Uh, here was a person who had been operated on many times. My body had been a source of pain, considerable pain, and also been very, very treated like an object. Um, Back in those days, a doctor would come around if you were in the hospital with a team of other um, interns looking at you, might sit you up on a little table, hardly make any remarks to you, if at all, and say, she this and she that, and bring out your x-rays. And you're sitting there maybe in your underwear at age five. Uh, your, your body has been a source of physical pain often, not always, and also often very objectified, to where you really do kind of split your mind off from your body. Not in any psychotic way, but you just have to kind of kind of divorce yourself from all that's going on to you right at that time. So I think it made sense in my case that it took a long time um, for me to, to um, be able to enjoy my own sexuality, my own sexual responses. In terms of being a lesbian, that's a huge subject um, because I think, you know, a lot of people could be bisexual and I, I could easily have been bisexual. I had some attraction to guys, but um, I fell in love with a woman first. But I had a big crush on a guy earlier, too. He was very sweet. Um, again, because I was assertive, um, independent, not exactly the kind who knew how to do some things that women are supposed to do. <laughs> it just wasn't me. And a lot of women like that do get married to guys who aren't looking for a certain thing. But in my case, the first people that I really bonded with were women. And, and uh, um, getting along just on a personal level and just really bonding. I was a real lesbian, not just because men didn't work out. Not that at all. But I could have been probably bisexual in a word, world that, that didn't have sexism or ableism. But that's not the world we live in. And, and so, um, you know, patriarchy had a lot to do with some of my choices. But it wasn't just a mental thing. It was a very emotional and, and sexual direction. It wasn't like I decided, oh, Sexism is, bad. Sexism is bad, so I'm going to go be a lesbian. It wasn't like that. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.